What's up YouTube? Welcome to the review of the Benelli TRK502. So this is the road going version the 502 and there is an off road going version which is a 502X. In, in front of this motorcycle itself I feel like a small kid because this motorcycle is very huge. But just look at the seat height. The seat height is little less on this one. But on the 502X you have a taller seat height, better ground clearance and perfect for off road. So let's go through the motorcycle by walking around first. Just look at all these uh, kind of B headlights. It looks like uh, B's eyes. I think it has a small resemblance to the bigger models like the Tornado 899 and all but it looks really nice the beak setup looks really nice and altogether the plastic quality and the build quality of this motorcycle looks okay it's a little onto a heavier side and since the seat height is less and I'm not that a tall guy then when I sit on this motorcycle I feel like I'm completely inside the motorcycle I mean in this segment you don't have much of a choice because when you leave from Himalayan you don't have anything in this range until you hit the verse 650 so this is something in the mid-range where it's very promising and uh, purposeful also and i have to say that the seat is very 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 comfortable oh for the pillion also it's wide it's really really comfortable the cushion on this one is really nice i really loved it you can you can see that from the seat itself you have a bigger tank coming off so you are completely inside the air pocket without the windscreen itself i was feeling that the wind was sitting onto my chest somewhere in 125 so with the windscreen you will have a better wind protection it comes with a double disc in the front and the single disc in the back the braking confidence is kind of okay not anything great to talk about but still it is okay good and it has good stopping power also it's really decent and the best part about this motorcycle is the exhaust it sounds really nice it has that slight grunt and it feels really like an inline machine and the suspension setup is like really tuned for a softer ride it gives you the complete comfort beat on highways beat on city use but in the city i was feeling that it is a little difficult to control first thing even though the seat height is not so high uh, the seat is wide so even if you're a short guy then you'll have a problem in handling this but if you're a tall guy not a problem and it's a little bulky and it's a little heavy so not so much tuned for the city but of course tuned for the highways and some amount of off-roads if you're looking for a purely off-road version of this then 502x is the answer for that but that seat height and that kind of motorcycle will be a really hard to manage in the city riding condition so let's go for a ride and i'll talk the rest of the things stepping onto the adv <laughs> you can see that this petrol tank is almost in level with my chest and uh, turning it on and you have all the basic switches here this is the engine kill switch the hazard lamp the ignition high beam low beam indicators horn and you can turn off the abs so the switch is there and the dial looks actually a little outdated I have to say that i'm not a big fan of this so turning it on you have the big taco here the speedometer your total kilometer trip a to p that's all and this will change the settings on to miles per hour that's all you have the time you have the fuel meter that's all very basic things so let's go for a ride and yeah of course i forgot to tell that there is a usb charging slot here you can use that when you're a tourer you you, you can really use that you can have your mobile here and connect it with that So taking a U-turn you have to be a little uh, careful because I told you it's uh, since the seat is a little wide you will feel that the motorcycle is a little tall than expected but once it is rolling you don't feel that kind of a weight and the weight is like giving great amount of stabilization on the highway so on all these bad roads I don't I don't feel anything coming onto the rider's body so I just rode the Leon Gino 500 just before this and Basically, these two motorcycles share the same engine but a different character, altogether a different character because the Leon Chino's engine is almost tuned for the top end. But on this motorcycle, you will get the power and the punch in the mid range itself. This motorcycle is like torquey enough for your day to day life and if you are off roading also. I can show you the power delivery now. That's what I told, this motorcycle has a really good mid-rev ranges so when you are touring on the highway you don't have to shift too much when you want to overtake and all so even if you are in the 6th year just throttle it off 
you have the complete power just like this so the running acceleration is like too good on this motorcycle especially when compared to the leoncino but leoncino is altogether a different ball game it's for the city and for some highways but this is properly for touring but if you are really pushing this motorcycle to the red lines then you will feel a light amount of buzz on the foot peg and the seat i don't know why it is but yeah it is there if and only if if you are redlining in the first four gears otherwise in the fifth and the sixth gear i'm not finding it too much and first of all i i couldn't redline this motorcycle in the sixth gear so basically this motorcycle has a very comfortable touring speed starting from 130 to 140 so that's i think that's really more than enough for uh, any indian highway your purpose is touring your purpose is not racing so 130 140 is like an easy speed you can tour any speeds below that also but i'm just telling that you can even tour at 130 140 with no stress with the engine so the taller wind visor will protect you so unfortunately i don't have the wind visor now so it's a test ride bike i think someone took it for a ride and uh, the windshield is broken that's the reason so talking about the handlebar so it is slightly taller and towards the rider and you don't have to lean forward to grab hold of the handlebar so you have it exactly where it wanted to be and of course this motorcycle has a very good ground clearance the 502 x has a better ground clearance than this so imagine that you can take that motorcycle for any off roads but it's a little on to a heavier side so if you are already on to off roading and uh, you wanted to extend your expertise then no problem but if you are starting your off roading what say experiences on this motorcycle you will take a little more time to learn things that's all because you have to control the weight <clears throat> so with the better talk what you can do is like you can control the weight with the throttle so clocking three digit speed is not at all a problem on this even if you want to push from here just throttle it off you'll get it so that's how comfortable the dr502 is like standing on the foot peg is also not a problem because the reach towards the handlebar is good first of all i'm a short guy even with this kind of a height this is not a problem you can see there so of course the machine which is really made for the highways the comfort that's the most brilliant thing on this motorcycle like you have ample space to sit and looking from a ownership point of view you have to service this motorcycle once in 6000 kilometers or 6 months and it will cost you somewhere from uh, 8000 to 9000 rupees per service so that's something decent when you look at from an adv point of view especially when you compare it with the higher or the bigger competitors that this motorcycle has which is a versus so let's see what kind of people can fit onto this motorcycle if you want to tour a lot you want to be on the highway for a long time you want to carry a lot of luggage yes this motorcycle is for you look at the tank with the mileage of around 20 to 25 and multiplied by this tank range you have an amazing tank range so in the sense this is purely going to be at a highway tour no problem this kind of a speed is like very comfortable i'm like completely under the wind pocket even without the wind visor so really happy for a tourer like me and if you wanted to do a little more off roads then you can go for the off road version don't be afraid of the seat high because once you hit the highway like this then everything going to be fine so i hope you like this video and if you have any doubts about this motorcycle do let me know in the comment section and as always show some love in the form of likes and comments see you in the next video until then bye bye